All right, so let's talk about Air Force. They're opening up their conference slate this week and with a trip to Logan to face Utah State. They're at one and one on the season, coming off a of bye week. The Falcons win this season was a shutout of FCS Stony Brook, and that option offense is going to be front and center this week. 271 yards rushing per game, ranked second in the Mountain West. Now, on the other sideline, Utah State has enjoyed some success of its own this season. Head coach Matt Wells has his crew sitting at 2-1 and one on the year, but could very well be 3-0, and oh, Michael. We know this after that narrow yep. loss to Michigan State to open the season. The Aggies sit as 10 and a half point favorites. And if you're looking to put money on this game, our Vegas insider Jonathan Von Tobel has some advice for you. So I lean a little bit here towards Utah State. Should know uh, the win opened up this number at Utah State minus eight and a half. So you, you, got, you lost out on a bad number. And you want to go with the dog if you're looking for value per se. But Utah State, uh, I expected them to be essentially uh, not undefeated, but undefeated in conference play by the time they reached their final game of the year against Boise State. This is a really talented team. Love the quarterbacks. Uh, they have a lot of returning guys, and there's a lot of continuity here. And they showed it in that loss, a close loss to Michigan State, although the Spartans might not be exactly what we expected uh, at the beginning of the year. Regardless, I think they're the better team in this spot. Uh, revenge spot for them as well, losing back-to-back -back games against Air Force. So I do think Utah State's aside, but you're losing out on a good number. Win opened up 8.5, now 10.5 or 11, depending on where you look. Thanks very much, JVT. I agree with what he said about Utah State being talented. Yeah. I want to talk about this matchup. Let's start on the Air Force side of things. What's the biggest question you have about this team? What are you defensively? Mm. I think when I look at them, you look at the numbers, and they're number two in the Mountain West on, in total defense. But then you're like, well, really? I'm, su you, I'm surprised by that. Because you gave up 470 yeah. yards to Chris Robinson uh, and, and FAU uh, through the air. So I think the real key is going to be as they get into their Mountain West schedule, can you stop the pass? Because if uh -huh. every game looks like this, where they get sliced up through the air, we know that there are several offenses in this conference that yeah. can throw the ball around. It's going to be a long, it'll be a long season for them if they can't figure out how to stop the pass. Yeah, Chris Robinson set a school record. Yep. I think it was something like, what was it, 471, 471. yards? It's not good. No. <laughs> it's not good for Air Force. All right, so on the Utah State side of things, what matchup do you think that they need to exploit to get this win? Uh, one, I love the running backs. Mm -hmm. So we got to give Thompson yeah. and Bright. G. Bright, run. as they call oh, him. Yeah. Gerald Those guys Bright, are great. Darwin Thompson. But Jordan Love, to me, is a story for this game. I mean, mm -hmm. he is a dynamic quarterback that showed that. I mean, he threw for 319 yards against Michigan State. Yeah. We saw him then again in the game against Tennessee Tech really go off, complete some big passes down the field. Yeah. I expect Air Force, they bottled up Devin Singletary yeah. for the most part, and I expect them to load up to try to stop this this two-headed running back yeah. monster, but I don't think that they can stop Jordan Love through the air to these wide receivers, and I think that's the big edge for Utah State mm -hmm. is go, being able to go over the top of these defensive backs for Air Force, and I think that's where Utah State can get this big one. And I know that Utah State coaching staff is looking for Jordan Love to get that consistency yep. like we saw against Michigan State, like exactly. we saw against Tennessee Tech. This will be a great opportunity for him for to sure. prove that.